Hello everyone and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. The landing gear is essential to any aircraft, be it a helicopter, airplane, or space shuttle. Though companies worldwide have experimented with sleds and other types of landing gear types, wheels remain the preferred method of ensuring a safe landing time and time again. Of course, these wheels require tires in order to cushion them from the impact of a landing plane. Though they're not unlike modern car tires in many ways, aircraft tires are built to be far more durable. They also have a high load bearing capacity and an increased ability to resist the pressure changes that come with high altitude operations. But even with advanced technology and improved engineering, aircraft tires can still fail from time to time. This C-17 Globemaster is one of the larger cargo planes used by the United States military. It boasts a maximum takeoff weight of nearly 600,000 pounds and is more than 170 feet long. In order to support the plane's incredible bulk during storage, takeoff, and landing, the engineers installed five total landing gear sections with 14 individual tires. These tires are 40 inches in diameter and 16 inches wide. In order to change out flat or damaged tires, a number of tools must be used. First, the landing gear must be partially deployed and the old tire strut raised with a jack. This ensures that a worn or damaged tire can be taken off. A new tire is then strapped inside a wheeled sling, giving the maintenance team the leverage they need to install it on the strut easily. In many cases, a talented team can accomplish this replacement in just a few minutes. Military maintenance crews around the U.S. will often put their tire-changing skills to the test at both formal and informal competitions. These sorts of events aim to give the teams a chance to practice their craft under extreme pressure. In some cases, the crews will be switched up to increase the difficulty. After all, there's no guarantee that a team won't have to work with pilots or other personnel unfamiliar with the process in the event of an emergency tire change. Challenges like this are scored by speed and by ensuring that the different crews avoid penalties for various mistakes or setbacks. One of the most important aspects of aircraft maintenance is ensuring that proper working parts are on hand at all times. This is the duty of aircraft parts store journeymen who are tasked with verifying, inventorying, checking, and moving supplies in the on-base warehouse. It's imperative that these men and women know the different parts and which aircraft they go to. They must also manage the ordering and stocking process so that no components are lost in the immense space. 
When it comes to tires, each type must be clearly labeled and stored for quick retrieval. At around 80 to 100 pounds each, moving even a single tire can be challenging without the right equipment. Every plane has its unique landing gear setup. This is mostly determined by the plane's purpose, its weight, and the design of the wings and fuselage. In the case of a full-sized cargo plane like the C-5 Galaxy, a special design was needed to support the plane's bulk. At 247 feet long and with a max takeoff weight, of 840,000 pounds. The C-5 is supported by five sets of landing gear and 28 wheels. And to maximize the stability of the aircraft, the C-5's designers placed the wheels on the side of the aircraft's fuselage rather than the bottom. For this reason, they deploy in a sideways manner before turning 90 degrees to face forward. The nose gear, which features two large wheels on either side of the strut, deploys normally. As with any other type of landing gear, it is essential that C5 landing gear be properly maintained at all times. There is even a specific C-5 maintenance shop run by the 559th Aircraft Maintenance Squadron in Georgia. Here, both new and old systems are properly calibrated, cleaned, and assembled. In order to provide maintenance techs with access to the entire landing gear system, special stands are used. These stands include steps, allowing complete assembly and disassembly from the top down. Given that these landing gear systems stand more than 10 feet tall and weigh several thousand pounds, these supports are crucial to the mechanic's success. In many ways, commercial aircraft tires are exposed to even more stress than military aircraft. Indeed, these planes are often tasked with making dozens of flights a week, ferrying passengers and cargo through various climates and conditions. For this reason, airlines change their aircraft tires out every 250 flights. This routine task is performed by specialists from the airline's technical division and includes the use of a variety of equipment and tools. The first stage in the process is a thorough inspection of each tire for wear and tear. The hydraulic lift will then be placed beneath the wheel strut, allowing the wheel to be lifted while the plane is still on the ground. As with a car tire, a series of nuts attaching the tire hub to the strut must be removed. From here, the tire can be pulled out using a wheeled lift, and a new tire can be installed. Once the strut has been inspected for damage, a new tire is attached and the plane is free to take off again.
one of the world's most significant aircraft tire manufacturers, is Michelin. This process starts with rubber, which makes up the bulk of the tire. Michelin's rubber is first prepped at other facilities, and then extruded at the company's aircraft tire plant. To support the shape and structure of the tire, the inside is lined with bead wire. Next, the cylindrical tire casing is designed with the help of large rollers. Different layers of rubber and steel are positioned one on top of the other and affixed with a melted rubber bonding. Once the proper shape and diameter have been achieved, more durable treat rubber is installed on the outside of the tire. The casing and outer tire are then fused together by inflating the casing. From here, both are cured in a high-pressure, high-temperature press to ensure proper adhesion. Lastly, the finished product is carefully inspected for maximum quality. In order to provide the highest quality, Michelin carefully tests all of its aircraft tires using highly sophisticated methods. This includes simulations of various types of damage, including blowouts, grinding, punctures, and more. Tires are even strapped to vehicles in order to simulate landings on different surfaces and encounter various obstacles. Through these tests, the company can get a better idea of how the tires will perform under actual conditions. Even if a tire sustains damage or loses its tread, it isn't necessarily the end of its service life. Indeed, Michelin has one of the most state-of-the-art tire retreading factories in the world. Here, tires are first inspected to determine whether or not they can be refurbished. Next, high pressure is injected into the casing and a soapy water solution is applied. This helps test for punctures. After a laser evaluation inside a vacuum chamber, the tires are heated. This allows the current tread and wires to be removed from the casing. Next, the casing is carefully buffed so that it can accept the new tread. First, any damage that has yet gone unseen is carefully repaired. From here, a new skim of rubber is installed, along with a steel protector wire and a new outer tread. Once everything is glued into place, the tire can be cured again, essentially resulting in a brand new tire. In some cases, as with this Emirates Airbus A380, an entire landing gear unit will need to be replaced. Again, this process is very similar to how a car might be repaired, only on a much larger scale. Multiple hydraulic jacks must be used to lift the 628,000 pound plane off the ground. Afterward, the gear units can be detached and removed using a series of heavy duty loaders. These same loaders can then be utilized to bring the new unit and load it into place. In the case of this plane, it took two full weeks to replace all five landing gear sets. Still, in the end, this plane has been given a new lease on life. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.